Hi, my name is Dawson Church, and I am so excited to tell you about our new workshop called EFT and the Awakened Mind Cultivating Advanced Brain States. This workshop is fun partly because we hook you up to a monitor, a brainwave monitor, and actually monitor your brain waves in real time. You see what your brain looks like and what states it's in. There are four primary frequencies we measure. The highest frequency waves are beta waves, next comes alpha waves, and finally there are theta waves, and the lowest frequency is called delta waves. When people are in a highly creative state, a highly intuitive state, a balanced and relaxed state, they tend to have a combination of these four brainwave frequencies that's healthy and productive. But when you're stressed, when you're upset, when you're emotionally triggered, you tend to have lots and lots of that high frequency beta activity in your brain. And that actually impedes your ability to get things done. High beta is monkey mind, high beta is stress, high beta is anxiety. And what we want you to have is a balanced combination of all four frequencies, beta, alpha, theta, and delta. We train you how to do this. We train you what it feels like in your body to have this awakened mind state, so you know when you're in that state. And it's called cultivating these states because we show you how to invoke these frequencies at will during your everyday life. So if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling unbalanced, you can get back into that, into that awakened mind state. The awakened mind state also is has an amazing history. It was discovered in the 1950s by a British electrical engineer and Zen master called Maxwell Cade. And what Cade did was he, he hooked up various people who were in advanced mental states or enlightened states, and he found that this awakened mind set of frequencies characterize their brains. So we show you how to find this state in yourself, what it feels like in your body. We also use a technique called the House of Doors, developed by Maxwell Cade. And in this guided imagery of the House of Doors exercise, we show you how to travel deep into your subconscious and find a guide, an archetypal part of your awareness that can help you with your issues and help you help you find this awakened mind state. I had a funny experience when I I did my first awakened mind workshop and I was expecting my guide to be some great Zen master in saffron robes who was very peaceful and serene and instead it turned out to be a caveman. <laughs> it's like, okay, why did it have to be a caveman? But whenever I would, would picture this caveman, and of course what it was, was the wild part of me, which I was having trouble integrating into the very civilized and polite Dawson church I usually am. But when I would pull the caveman in, suddenly I'd bounce right into the awakened mind state. So it helps you find, in this workshop we train you to find those parts of yourself maybe that you haven't embodied fully, haven't integrated fully. And then when you do, you're able to get this lovely, balanced, set of frequencies. So we have you use EFT to tap away the impediments to that awakened mind state and literally we show you what your brain state is before EFT and after EFT and usually after EFT people are able to invoke these advanced mental states. So I'd like to warmly invite you to join us for EFT and the awakened mind. Click below to find registration details and I will see you in the class.